One of the commonest terms in retriever training is diversion, but diversion is a much broader subject than most people use it. For example, since a lot of people run hunt tests, one of the diversions they most commonly seen is the one called a bulldog or bird in the face. As the dog's coming back in, they launch a mark that the dog can clearly see, and that extends his memory requirement plus may divert his route through the influence of suction. There are really three influences that make diversions work. Flare, suction, and drift. So you've also heard the term factor a lot. Well, those are diversion factors because if they don't tend to divert the dog, they're really not a factor, are they? So when you're either judging a blind or if you're setting one up in training, Think about the physical elements present that may divert your dog. Those are factors, diversion factors. We put those in the way to train the dog and to test their training. For example, just visualize a log or a hay bale. If that is placed in route to a blind, that's a diversion factor because dogs will tend to flare it instead of run through or over it. Very hard to run through, so they'll either have to jump it or they'll run around when they run around it. They flare it. Flare, suction, drift. So, if a route has a log nearby, but it's not in route to the blind, it's really not a factor, is it? Because it won't tend to divert the dog. Only if it's placed in route will the dogs tend to flare it. And that's true of many other so-called factors. But there are other factors. Gunfire or other sounds. Uh, smell, like a scent cone of a bird that's upwind of the route. Those sort of things will divert them also. And so you need to train against those things. Now those diversion factors also work on marks, especially multiple marks. Just situating other marks adjacent to another may draw a dog toward it, that's the suction influence. Or a dog may be a little extra honest and actually flare off an old mark and that'll throw him off his route to another mark. All those influences work. What you need to do is think in terms of routes, not just marks or blinds, because there's a route to either one. And there are influences that you can affect out there or that nature may affect that will divert those routes. In fact, some of the reason that multiple marks often get failed, especially uh, in the higher tests like field trials, is suction to other falls or that flaring influence because they'll place one mark so tight to the back side of a shorter gun that the dogs flare and end up far out of the fall area. So remember those things when you're training, train on them by all means, get your dog used to them, teach them to go straight, even when there are many diversion factors present. That way when you get out there under judgment, it won't really matter too much what the test is, your dog will be prepared. Test for diversion factors. They're not just factors, they're not just diversions. They're diversion factors. Happy training. <laughs>